Self-Help. Today I am so excited because I have a video on a product that I have been hearing so many good things about that I am literally like so excited that I have. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm sure you guys are like seriously I'm seeing another video on this mascara. Well, there are so many videos out there comparing it to this Too Faced mascara, but I've hardly seen any comparing it to the, like, the original to the waterproof. So I figured that's what I would do today. I have um, the same mascara. I have it in the original in black is black, and then I have the waterproof in black. So I am very excited to be trying this out. I have not, I have not tried this. This is like the first time. I literally have had this in my hand for a few hours, and I am so excited. And I know I look crazy because I don't have any mascara on. Um, but I just wanted to share with you a few things before we hop into the demo. This retails for $9.99 at Ulta, but I'm pretty sure I paid $8.99 for it. This is my friend Emma's. She let me borrow this, so she has black and her wa she got waterproof. This is mine, and black is black because I love the darkest one. And I'm going to be comparing it side by side. I'm going to do the original on this side and then the waterproof on this side. We're going to compare which ones. Well, this is kind of going to be like a first impressions review if I like this product, which I'm pretty sure I will because I've heard so many great reviews on it, but I'm trying to keep an open mind about it. And then also which one works better, the waterproof or the original? So let's hop right in and get started. So this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is the sample of it. And it is definitely like not the heavy packaging that the original is. Let's say that the sample packaging is about the same as the L'Oreal one, but they are both basically the same color. They're just this blush pink and the writing is very similar. Top one is the Too Faced and the bottom is the L'Oreal. So very, very similar. I would say that the, the Too Faced is definitely more of an hourglass shape, whereas the L'Oreal kind of has that, but also is very, not as drastic, and the tip of it is a little bit not as like wide. It's just kind of a little bit more angled in a way instead of the hourglass shape, but very, very similar. So I am gonna curl my lashes just because I always curl my eyelashes, and I just think that helps with the mascara process. As you can tell, I do have pretty long eyelashes as it is. Not like the longest eyelashes, but I do have long eyelashes compared to a lot of people. So I'm gonna go in with the original on this side. This is one coat with just the original and then one without. And this is really crazy because I love my Maybelline Last Sensational, but it's a very wet mascara and I feel like wet mascaras you have to work with a little bit for them to like for them to just kind of look good. Like you have to work with them. This is a drier formula and you don't really have to work with it. Drier formula mascara is just you don't have to work very hard to make them look good because they're not going to clump as easier because they're drier. And just to say, I usually do get better results with this side of my, my eyelashes, these eyelashes. Okay, so this is a side-by-side -side comparison. I feel like they look pretty similar. I feel like I worked with the waterproof one maybe just the slightest bit a little bit more like it didn't go on my lashes as well. Um, but yeah, they both look really good. Okay, I'm gonna put, I feel like that one's lengthening, like curling length, like curling back a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the second coat of the original. It's probably like all dried now. I just love how sep- oh my gosh, you guys. This is insane. I like this better than my Maybelline Last Sensational. And that is like a big deal to say. Okay, going with the second coat of the Waterproof. I know I'm getting it on my um, eyelids. I'm very messy with my mascara. So this is two coats of the mascara, the original, and then the waterproof. I don't know, I think they look very similar. Actually, I think the waterproof is doing a very nice job. This side I always have problems with with my mascara. I always have to work with it a little bit more. My lashes I feel like aren't as long on this side for some reason and are just more of a pain. But this is incredible. My mascara is like my last sensational. I probably could get it to be like this, 
I can't even take myself with this, seriously, with all this mascara on my lid. Somewhat similar length of this, but like it never, like this literally took me like two seconds and I was kind of like talking. This I just swiped right on and it went really well. I am very impressed. I'm gonna try, should I try a third coat? I'm gonna try to just touch it up one more and then put it on the lower lashes. Is the original right? you start to hit the third coat it does start to clump just the slightest bit but like nothing that bad um and I did kind of curl up from the top parts of my lashes too to make them look a little bit like fuller but yeah this is just insane Wow, that looks in amazing. I cannot get over these lashes, you guys. Like, they look incredible. So what I have to say is it's amazing. It lengthens, it volumizes, it curls. Immediately with the first coat of just putting it on, my lashes were, like, lifted and curled. Like, they were literally, like, almost curled backwards. They were lengthened and just, like, I just... <laughs> it looks amazing. And then every time you added another coat to it, I feel like it just... They kind of clumped together a little bit more, which made them look a little more voluminized and just looks insane. Like I can't get over it. It's so crazy. And yeah, I did three coats. So it kind of, when I put on mascara, I'm not like, okay, coat one, sit my coat two. I just, when I do it, I'm like swipe. I just go back and forth between eyes until I'm just satisfied and I'll wait a second and then I'll go back in and just kind of, so I'm not really like, okay, this is one coat. This is two coats. So I just mess around with it. But definitely like if you're just wanting something that is gonna make your lashes stand out but not like voluminize and like four coats of it and you just do one coat your lashes will just look long and just kind of fluttery and then if you're wanting a little bit more volume and then to pop even more if you just keep adding and it literally like I don't think I don't need to wear false lashes because they just look so this is already passing up my Maybelline Last Sensational and I swear by that mascara this is incredible I don't know if you can tell a difference if I notice any other difference I might add it on the screen but I think that they look the exact same I am noticing my left side a lot because lashes never look this good like I always have to work a lot super hard to get these lashes to work well for me so this is incredible that it's doing this and that's a good thing that they both work very similar because when you will go to, like, say, like, I love this mascara, the original, but, like, I want to go to the beach one day and I want to put waterproof on. Well, I know that it's going to perform the, and look the exact same with the waterproof as it would as the original. Obviously, right now, I'm not able to tell you, like, the longevity of this mascara or if the waterproof holds up, but just by first impression it is amazing and I'm loving this and this was my friend's waterproof like this is my friend Emma so she let me borrow this one just to compare and I think I'm gonna go and purchase the waterproof when they're not sold out because they're like sold everywhere on my own because I really really like this waterproof and I think I just really like how it performs check the description box because when I wash my face I'll be able to tell you like if it removes easily or if it kind of um, lasts while I'll, t I'll play around with it a little bit tonight before I take it off to see if the waterproof will hold up or not and um when i wash my face if it's easy to remove and things like that but so far this gives the hope approval i love it so much and yes and i'm actually excited to compare it to the Too Faced one because i have not compared it to it yet thank you guys for watching please thumbs this up if it was helpful i hope you guys enjoyed have you guys tried this mascara i think you need to go pick it up if you have not yet because it has the simply hope approval i love it so much and it just I looks like I have fake eyelashes on. It's so crazy. If you guys have any other video ideas, please let me know in the comments. And I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. Mm -hmm.